This image has been shared hundreds of thousands of times on social media channels, especially Facebook and Tumblr, but is it really like this? Sure, it rains water on Earth. But can it really rain, methane, or iron, or diamonds? Let's find out. Does it rain sulfuric acid on Venus? Venus is the second planet from the Sun, and the temperature, on Venus is at least 462 degrees Celsius, much higher than that of Mercury, which is much closer to the Sun. There is no rainfall on the surface of Venus, while sulfuric acid rain falls in the upper atmosphere, it evaporates around 25 kilometers above the surface. The clouds are also extremely acidic, and there is also lightning on Venus. The sulfuric acid droplets can be highly electrically charged, and so they offer the potential for lightning. Does it, rain glass on, HD 189733B? HD 189733B, is an extrasolar planet approximately 63 light years away from the solar system. With a mass 13% higher than that of Jupiter, HD 189733B, orbits its host star once every 2.2 days, making it, a so-called hot Jupiter. Hot Jupiters are a class of extrasolar planets whose characteristics are similar to Jupiter, but that have high surface temperatures because they orbit very close to their star. The astrophysicists found that the planet Albedo, is significantly larger in blue light than in the red. But the blue doesn't come from an ocean or some watery surface, it comes from a hazy, turbulent atmosphere, believed to be laced with silicate particles, the stuff of which, natural glass is made. We don't know for sure, but it likely rains silicate particles, you can consider them glass, on the planet we call HD 189733b. Does it, rain diamonds on Neptune? Neptune is the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun in the solar system. Neptune's atmosphere, like Jupiter's and Saturn's, is composed primarily of hydrogen and helium, along with traces of hydrocarbons and possibly nitrogen, however, it contains a higher proportion of ices such as water, ammonia, and methane. The abundance of methane, ethane, and ethine at Neptune's equator, is 10 to 100 times greater than at the poles. It has been theorized that, Uranus and Neptune actually crush methane into, diamonds, and lab experiments seem to confirm that this is possible. Once these diamonds form, they fall like raindrops or hailstones toward the center of the planet. It's estimated that at a depth of 7,000 kilometers, the conditions may be such that, methane decomposes into diamond crystals, that rain downwards like hailstones. It likely rains diamonds on Neptune, but not on the surface, but 7,000 kilometers deep in the gas planet. Does it rain, iron, on Ogil TR-56b? Out of all the planets here, we know the least about Ogle TR-56b. It's estimated that, the temperature on the surface of the planet, is almost 3000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is theoretically just right to form clouds, not of water vapor, but of iron atoms. Does it rain, methane, on Titan? Titan is the largest moon of Saturn. It is the only natural satellite known to have a dense atmosphere, and the only object other than Earth, where clear evidence, of stable bodies of surface liquid, has been found. Titan has seas made of, hydrocarbon, lakes, mountains, fog, underground water oceans and yes, it does, rhine methane, on Titan. The terrain on Titan, is likely not made up of, small grains of silicates like the sand on Earth, but rather might have formed, when liquid methane rained and eroded the ice bedrock, possibly in the form of flash floods. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.